so welcome to today's class today we shall discuss uh, chapter 8 of the distant window in chapter 7 we found nando cursing himself for sending his wife to the rat bungalow his wife was saying he, she was not willing to go there but nando forced her to go there so nando was worried whether she would come back all in one piece or not or whether the saha would molest her, seduce her, right? So, but in chapter 8, she comes back. So, she says, she finds Nandu cooking rice. So, when she finds, when she comes back and finds her husband cooking rice, she says, what are you doing? You know, Nandu feels startled, suddenly surprised. A sudden voice surprises Nandu. And, uh, you know, he realized that he had forgotten to close the door. He had forgotten to close the door. And uh, otherwise, he could have taught her a lesson. He was thinking of teaching her a lesson. You know, it's very easy to find fault with the women. Uh, you know, Parvati, Parvati was not willing to go to the rat bungalow. It was Nandu who forced her to go there. But now he is finding fault with her. Now, if she found that the Mem Sahib had not come, why didn't she come back all of a sudden? Why didn't she come back from there? Why is she, why did she decide to spend so much time there? She is a chatterer. She, she is one who talks a lot. So, see, he is now finding fault with her. So, he says, uh, if he had forgotten to close the front door, otherwise he could have taught her a lesson by not opening the door. He is very angry with her. She has been fooling with the man, while poor Nando had to find the house locked when troubled by pangs of hunger. So he, you know, comes back at 1.30, finds that the house is locked. Parvati is not there. She has not come back. There is no food ready. So, pangs of hunger is what he suffers, suffers from. He is very hungry, so he is very angry. And he also becomes very angry at the same time. Nando picked up the ladle and busied himself with the pot of rice, hitting the edge with the ladle and pretending that he was unaware of her presence. So, Nando was behaving as if he was not aware of her presence. He knew that it was it was uh, his wife's voice, but he was behaving as if, you know, he didn't mark her presence. Parvati comes in, up, you know, washes herself uh, you clean, and she now comes and says, "You have done enough. Now let me take over. So let me do the rest of the things. You have already cooked. It's enough, huh?" Rice is already ready, so now I will be cooking. And uh, Nandu says, Nandu would not let go of the ladle. He is very angry, so he does not uh, let go of the ladle. And he says, I am fine. It is no problem to get some rice boiled. I can manage it. So, no problem. I can manage the rice. I can cook the rice. So, without your help also, I can do it. If you didn't cook it for me, if I had to go hungry for such a long time, then why should you cook, cook it for me now? It's okay. I can manage. So, this was a way of displaying his anger for Parvati. Parvati says, yes, I know. I know. No. You, 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 nothing ever creates a problem for you. But I am there. Okay. I am there. Let me do it. So, Parvati knows that if she starts an argument with her husband, her husband would be more angry with her, angrier with her. So, instead of doing that, she is a very clever lady and she starts telling very nice things about him. She says, you undertake such difficult tasks, the Sahab, even the sahab mar sahabs marvel at you. Even the sahabs marvel at you. And you would not be able to boil some rice. I know you can do that. 
you are such a nice worker that the sahibs take a lot of you know they, they feel very happy to be working with you when they when they get some help from you they praise you a lot i know you can do many things so but when the maid servant has returned and why not let her do the work so i am the maid servant i have already returned so let me do the rest of the work oh you are the maid servant why should you be the maid servant nando made an ugly face say the queen has arrived you are the queen are you the maid servant no no you are the queen even the sahab sees the opportunity to flirt with you so you are a lady with whom the sahab takes the opportunity to flirt so are you a, you know you are just coming back from the sahab na from the dark bungalow so how can you say you are a maid servant you are not a maid servant you are a queen of many hearts you are a queen of many hearts oh you have come back at last i thought since the mem sahab had not come the sahab would not let you come back he must have made you a captive so this was what i thought i thought the sahab must must have captured you kept you there by force since the mem sahab was not there mem sahab had not come the sahab must have taken the opportunity of her absence now this was the fear and suspicion that had been torturing nandu for quite some time right so you know when when parvati hears the accusations that her husband is accusing her she immediately becomes angry she says so you were wondering and worrying and with that burden of worry you were preparing your meal oh ho acha 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 you say you were wondering and you know you were very tortured you were wondering je my wife must be in trouble oh wife must be in trouble ta pare tumu ko ette bhok lagila je tum basi khaiwa tiyari kalo nahi ke gote loko he is so much concerned about his wife that he knows his wife is in trouble but instead of trying to rescue his wife from trouble you decided to cook food of tumi kete mane torture hothala satare ha so this, this is a kind of sarcastic remark she makes fun of him she mocks at him and nando um, ha to why i was cooking my meal a hungry man has to eat something i am hungry i must eat something ho oh, ho oh, has he she continues has he oh when your wife is in trouble the first thing you must do is to prepare your food ah, what a husband you are i am very proud of you even when he is worried that his wife is being seduced by a man that somebody is exploiting his wife sexually he knows that he is suspicious of that but without trying to rescue his wife or interfering what does he do he cooks his meal what a nice husband you are ha huh? i am very proud of you so she is she is mocking she is making fun of nandu nandu blabber yes yes i did lose my didn't you become angry why didn't you become angry yes i did. i lost my temper i had thought of cutting the sahab said into two pieces with the hatchet however big a sahab he might be then uh, Uh, parvati one second makes fun of her oh ho so you had some thought parvati laughed aloud derisively makes fun of him one second what a hero my husband is oh lord you thought of killing him or oh, then you kept aside the hatchet and started to attend to your belly is that right you decided to kill the sahab who was forcing your wife to have a sexual relationship with him and then you decided okay let me keep the instrument of murder i am not going to kill him you kept the hatchet here and then you decided no no i must cook some rice and eat first i will commit the murder after eating something oh what a nice husband you are ha huh? so you know so parvati spoke in his, in her rejoiced sarc voice ha <laughs> ha 
she continues she continues talking in her mocking tone making fun of her husband you know we were all by ourselves even dasrath was not there only the sahab was there in the dark bungalow and i was there even the mali was not there dasrath was not there the sahib said come sit here tell me your name where do you live what does your husband do he asked me so many questions and he came and sat beside me sat by me nandu said why where had dasrath gone as if it was dasrath's responsibility to take care of his wife so where had dasrath gone i have no idea maybe to the bazaar ha huh? poor sahab he is really a sahab how handsome how muscular straight like the pole there very tall and he does invite admiration so this is how she is making fun of her husband oh you became suspicious okay if you can become suspicious then let me play with you like this you know so such a muscular person tall person handsome person ha huh? so he deserves admiration the sahab deserves admiration so he she is trying to make him angry and uh, then uh, uh, he was now blind with rage rage is anger he shouted handsome healthy so you lost your heart and gave gave yourself up to him oh ho then you must have given up yourself at his feet ha ah. तु तो देख पूरा भोल हो गलु आई हजबैंड कथ आज मन ना बुढ़ा हजबैंड कहीं घर को फेर एंड देन सी सेज पार्वती सेज इट्स मोर अनरेबल टू सेल्फ सेल वन सेल्फ टू अदर्स दैन टू लिव विथ ए मैन हू डजेंट स्ट्रांगल हिज वाइफ इवन इफ यू नोज दैट सी हाज सरेन्डर्ड हर सेल्फ टू अनादर मैन सो व्हाट एन अनफर्चुनेट ओमन आई आम my husband is suspicious that i surrendered myself i was sexually exploited by another man what should have been the right step for him he should have strangulated me he should have killed me instead of killing me what you are doing then he sits down to to his meal cooked by that woman he was sitting down to eat that meal which you have prepared and i prepared the rest of it and you are sitting down to eat that so what a man you are ha ah. so this makes nando very very angry so parvati parvati says he throws a spoon and uh, parvati says good so you still have a few drops of human blood in you it hasn't all turned into water licking the officials boots licking the officials boots so you you always try to prove that you are very faithful you are an, um, you are a person you are servile you are a person who takes interest in serving the babus so i thought your blood had turned into water but i am very happy to know now that you are angry i am very happy to know and you threw that spoon that makes me feel that you still have some blood in you and not complete water and uh, then uh, nandu keeps on roaring all this time if you continue with this kind of talk i will pull your tongue he says remember right if you continue your banter if you continue talking uh, like this i will throw you i will i will pull out your tongue okay only then you will understand then uh, he says parvati could not suppress her laughter any longer shameless women like you should be kicked in order to keep them on the straight path nandu says shameless women like you should be kicked in order to keep them on the straight path oh so nandu thinks what actually is the problem with towards the later part of chapter 8 he thinks what is the problem with his wife this is how it has been always and yet a fool that he is thought nandu 
he still was attracted by that laughter and her flirtatious ways he says she worked very hard but this didn't wipe out her many traits the chief among them being her present flirtatious ways besides she was childless that's no that was no small an out a, a shortcoming that was a problem with her she was a childless barren woman she was childless who cares for a barren woman so many years have gone by there is no sign of a child as yet as long as she doesn't have a child she will keep floating in the air like a balloon so her husband thinks the problem is that she is not having a child so having a child means she will remain busy most of the day and if she remains busy most of the day she will learn many things right she will learn many things she is not learning things only because she doesn't have a child oh lord please teach her a lesson please give her a child so with this prayer the chapter comes to an end